Welcome to another edition of our Cornhole Insider Podcast. It has been a while. We are coming out of retirement, I guess. We I think we were gone long enough, Al, so we're officially coming out of retirement. Joel here, yeah. Al Baghdadi over there. How you doing, Al? Good. How are you? Good. We've been seeing a lot of each other playing bags, but not on the podcast. And you mentioned to me a couple of days ago that we need to get on here and start talking about the Restore You Classic, <laughs> which is coming up pretty fast here. We got another big year. The is this the third year for it? Third third annual. Third annual, June 9th and 10th in Park Falls, Wisconsin. And we just want to let people know right away before they mm-hmm. duck out of this podcast that the money is pretty nice here, Al. We got some Big incentives for people to come to Northern Wisconsin. Yeah, it's it thousand uh, dollars for first place in doubles. Um, last year we paid out forty seven hundred dollars between Friday night switch holio and doubles and singles on Saturday. So, and so we're able, money to be had. Yeah, and we're able to do that because uh, we got a lot of great local sponsors and also able to raise money for uh, for some local charities, right? Yep, we're going to raise some money for the Park Falls Youth Wrestling, or I should say Shawamigan Youth Wrestling, um, the Lord's Covered Food Pantry, and we'll send a little bit to the Children's Miracle Network, like always. All right, so if you're coming to the Restore You Classic, uh, bring a non-perishable food item, or if you want to make a little donation to the food pantry, we'll have a special, I think, raffle set aside just for uh, people who do that, right? Yeah, I, I was thinking we'll set up a table, and anybody that brings something to donate, or, or if they just want to make a cash donation or something to the food pantry, we'll give them an entry fee into a raffle for a set of bags or something. All right. So for those who haven't been to this, again, 1000 for first doubles, 500 for singles. Um, we're going to kick it off Friday, June 9th. It's at the Big Rec Arena here in Park Falls. And uh, we always advertise free shuttle service available to the local hotel if you've had a few too many <laughs> beverages. A couple people might be... Uh, I don't know if they're on that naughty list of being on the shuttle. Nobody's been kicked out of the shuttle, but there's a couple that are pretty close, I think. Andrew Cox is driving the shuttle bus this year. <laughs> oh, boy. We want people to come. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a joyride. Uh, so June 9th, Friday, June 9th, we're going to do a switch holio, right? Tell, let's talk about that if people want to come a day early Friday night. Yeah, Friday Friday night, uh, I believe doors will be open by 5, 5.30 bags fly at 6 30 last year we had 58 people i think in the switch polio on friday night um we were done around 11 o'clock so you know would it probably about the same this year probably maybe a few more people hopefully but all right so switch holio friday night. oh i didn't show up I i'm sure i'm sure we'll split that into an upper and lower division all right Forgot to show off my Badger State game. Sure, I don't know if it's backwards <laughs> or not, frontwards. So Friday night, Switch Holio, if you want to come Friday night. Um, we've got some uh, good hotel rates here at the uh, Flambeau Lanes and Northern Lights Motel. If you want to stay there on Friday night, there's all kinds of campgrounds around the area. Some people like to do that also. So Switch Holio on Friday night, and then we'll do singles and doubles in one day on Saturday, right? Yeah. I just want to mention that if you're planning on staying overnight, that the Northern Lights Inn and the Lanes are a sponsor of the tournament. So I like to steer people in their direction. And they have boards set up there, too. So after we clear out of the arena, if you want to go to the banquet hall and throw some more bags at the uh, banquet hall, there's like four sets of boards set up there, too. All right. So let's talk about Saturday. What's going to happen on Saturday, June 10th here in Park Falls? Saturday, June 10th, we'll be, we'll start out with doubles at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, do not necessarily pool play, but probably a rounders to divide it into, if we get enough, if we get over that 35 to 40, you know, more teams than that, we'll probably split into three different divisions out after the rounders. Okay. All right. It's kind of a little uncharted territory this year because the first two years, uh, well, last year especially, we had, I think, pretty much all the pros, uh, ACL, ACO pros from Wisconsin, pretty much here. Now, this year just so happens that the event falls on an ACL national, so the ACL pros 
uh, i.e. Blake Karnick, Dan Walker, Steve Schrader, the Kufus boys, um, will not be there. Lexi Huge back Minnesota won't be able to come over. Um, so uh, that's a good news, bad news for us, Al. We want those guys there because I think well, they I think they bring a lot of people to see them play. But uh, it just this is the date that the event's got to happen, and it just kind of turned out that way, right? Yeah, that it's we didn't want to keep moving our date around to to work around somebody else's schedule because they're going to change their date every year. So, so one thing we know for sure is that we're going to have a different champion this year than the past two years. Yeah. I think Steve Schrader won singles last year. Is that right? Yeah. Him, Steve won singles and Steve and Dan Walker won the doubles last year. So, All right. And uh, some early favorites already signed up. ACO pros, Bob Heil, and uh, Bush, Mr. Wayne Rao is signed up. Maggie Geiger is a question mark. We'll see if she's going to show up uh, or not. She's got apparently kids or something like that. She's got to deal with. So <laughs> whatever, Maggie. Uh, so we, we hope that she makes it too. Uh, but we're looking for good good numbers. And um, this is uh, really built into a big tournament. Lots of Lots of donations, uh, Al. People very generous and giving us bags and stuff to to raise money for our local charities, right? Yeah, we should have lots of bag raffles. Um, we can still use more bags if anybody listening wants to donate bags. Um, the bag raffles are the long shot, which has been fairly popular. We're we doing that, and I think we're going to put a little twist on that this year, where if you if you make a bag to move the board back at any time during the during the day in the long shot contest, you'll you'll get a ticket for an entry into a bag raffle also. So. All right. So if you make one, you have a chance to win the raffle. Whoever makes the longest shot then uh, wins the is it wins the uh, the pot, I guess half the pot, right? Is that how we do half that? Half the pot plus um, essential shooting supply is sponsoring the long shot again and they're adding a hundred dollars to the kitty for the long shot. So. Oh, so the winner will get half the pot plus a hundred then? Is that what we're going to do? Well, it's a hundred. Plus, yeah. the record for the Restore You long shot is 71 feet, I believe, or 72 feet. If mm -hmm. somebody breaks that, Northern Wisconsin Cornhole is going to throw in another $50. All right. And that's just the long, the, the long shot. We got a lot of local businesses helping to make this possible to raise funds for our local, uh, for our local charities and uh but what i think players need to know al is because of that great support from the sponsors and stuff the entry fees 100 percent entry fees going back right 100 percent of the entry fee is paid it's always been 100 or 100 percent plus you know that we're we're going to be paying back more than what's paid in an entry fees yeah, and if people check out the events page on Facebook, on the Northern Wisconsin Cornhole Facebook page, you'll see it says first for 1000 bucks for doubles, 500 for second, 250 third, 100 for fourth. And then on the single side, um, like you mentioned, the 500 for first. And some of that might adjust due to numbers, but we, it hasn't been a problem in the past. And things are certainly uh, trending toward a pretty good number of players here, Al. Yeah, and, you know, it's something that I was thinking about that's, that's, I guess it's not unique to this tournament, but, you know, in the past, we've always had really good players come and play, the pros come and play, but it's set up where with the pool play and the rounders that you're going to fall into where you need to be as far as your skill level, you know, and it's a chance for people to just come and socialize and and they're going to have a good time and maybe they're going to win some money. Maybe, maybe you're going to get first in the lower division, you know, but it's still going to be a good time no matter what. And we'll offer them the opportunity where if they didn't make that upper and they want to come up, they have that option, right? Yep. We did that last year with the singles because it, it, it's set up. So wherever you qualify in doubles for upper or lower, that's where you can play in singles. So, but if you don't qualify for the upper, you can still, move up into the upper division. So, and a lot of people did that less, I, I mean, probably 75% of the people last year opted to play up into the upper division. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. And what's nice about the rec arena, they've got pretty cheap beer, uh, great food, burgers, and uh, I think brats and dogs. They've got the full concession stand and it's not overpriced like uh, like an open or a world's for either ACO or ACL. Some of 
18 bucks for chicken strips in Kansas a few weeks ago. Come on, people. Yeah, uh, so, no, 18 bucks will get you enough beer that'll probably uh, put you in the back seat of Al's car, taking you to the hotel. <laughs> but we want to thank the Rec Arena. They let us use the, the facility there. And uh, the concession stand, uh, like you said, has uh, really affordable pricing. Hotel, Northern Lights Inn, so, so book it there. Check out the events page on yeah. Facebook. All the information is right there. Yeah, I want to mention uh, Restore You to us. Every, from the very first year that we did this, as soon as I asked Henry at Restore You, he never hesitates to say, yep, we'll sponsor again. You know, and he's he's always been, always backing us up. So it's yep. always good. And a lot of other local businesses that are listed on that Facebook events page uh, that are helping out court sponsors. And uh, we want to thank uh, Kyle Ralph at Record Boards. He gave us some boards last year. That'll they'll probably be featured again on the uh, center court if I can pry those away from Blake. Um, and uh, but he'll be back from college. So we want to thank uh, him for providing those uh, northern Wisconsin boards also for for the big event. All right. Did we hit it all Something out? Nice. Something else that we've added this year is there's going to be an event T-shirt, but today is the deadline. So if you're watching this, message me if you want to get a shirt for the Restore You Classic. The order is going to the screen printer tomorrow, so today is the last day to order. All right, so get that to Al. Picture of the actual T-shirt is on the Northern Wisconsin Cornhole Facebook page. All right. No, it's sneaking up pretty fast here. I think, what, four, three weeks from Saturday or four? I don't know what it is. June yeah. 9th? June 9th? Today's May 10th, and it's not so one month from today. June 9th and 10th here in Park Falls. It's well worth the travel here. And with the special scenario surrounding this, uh, you know, some people that may thought, yeah, I can't beat the pros. All of a sudden this year may think, well, eh, maybe I'll go give it a shot here. Bob Heil going to have something to say about that. And Wayne Rao. <laughs> Look forward. It's always, it's a, so you're putting a target on their back, huh? Oh, uh, they're the favorites. I'm putting it. Well, you know, me and Bubba. Um, okay. I'll, I'll make them the, the three to two favorites. And I'll put Bubba and I <laughs> two to one. All right. All right. So a good time. And uh, I hope everybody will come support the event. We certainly like, would like to see it grow. Um, it's just, it's just the best of all scenarios, Al, and that all the entry fees can go back, but yet, able to raise a lot of money for local charities mm -hmm. and just tons of prizes and bags, raffles. Bag yeah, raffles. It's, it's, this, this community has been really great in supporting it. You know, it's, it's been, when I first thought about doing this, I thought, you know, I getting people to sponsor, it would be tough to do, but it's, it's actually been fairly easy to find sponsors for this, that people are willing to step up and help. All right, come support it. Park Falls, Wisconsin, June 9th and 10th, the Restore You Classic, the third annual. Thousand bucks, first place doubles, and even some good money, even if you don't win at all, uh, paying down a few spots in there. Like Al said last year, $4,700 paid out uh, last year uh, in money to, to winners between the Switch Holio and singles and doubles. All right, Mr. Bag Daddy, don't be a stranger. We'll check catch up with you again maybe one more time before the big event maybe we'll tune in a little bit uh do something that week before okay all right all right joel here al Baghdadi over over there thanks for tuning in to another edition of the cornhole insider podcast see you guys later